It's often said that the three certainties in life are death, taxes, and change. Hi, I'm Jared. Welcome to Incremental Health Tips. Welcome to Incremental Health Tips. Today we're going to be talking about one of the certainties of life, which is change, or uh, we can also refer to that as life transitions. To begin the topic, uh, I'd like to discuss a story that I was forced to read in graduate school called Who Moved My Cheese by Spencer Johnson. It's a, it's a book that reads very much like a children's book, although it's the intended audience is adults, although I suppose kids can learn from it too. The story centers around four mice named Scurry, Sniff, Hem, and Ha. And they live in a maze, and part of their life is they go around and they find cheese in the usual, in the usual places, in the same place every day. And one day, their cheese gets moved. And so Scurry and Sniff immediately go searching out into the maze, out into the unknown, to search for new cheese, where Hem and Ha just stand around and complain. And eventually, Ha, uh, sorry to spoil the story, but eventually Ha decides that he too is going to search for new cheese. And eventually he finds it while writing messages, hoping that his friend Hem would, uh, would find the messages along the way. And when Ha finds the cheese, he finds that Scurry and Sniff have already found it because they were proactive and sought it. The book teaches many important lessons about change and I think it's an important lesson because change impacts us all, whether it's really small changes like in our daily lives or slightly larger changes such as, you know, the impacts of COVID-19 on our employment situation, or maybe big life changes like having children, getting married, or some of these bigger things. So Liz, what? so in your practice in therapy, what do you tell people about change? Well, I tell people to keep in mind that changes, that at least adapting to change is temporary. You can you can survive adapting. Um, so you have to think of transition as a temporary state of change, even if the change is permanent. So in situations where there's a separation or divorce, the first couple years of that transition tend to be really difficult and emotional and it tends to be quite a big transition for people but after that transition takes place and things calm down people tend to get settled down and become more comfortable with their new lives as you know co-parents or whatever the situation may be so adjusting to those transitions and giving yourself time to adjust to it can make a real big difference. Well, right, but the adjustments are going to happen differently for different people. And so as we think of change, change is a really difficult thing to manage and everybody has a different capacity to handle change. Some people will em will embrace it and do really well with it while others, you know, really, really struggle. And I think that, uh, you know, COVID-19 <laughs> and the changes to the workplace have really, have really taught us that, that you know, uh, for for us personally, I was already working one of my two jobs from home, and so uh, tra transitioning to working both jobs from home really wasn't a very big deal for me. And in fact, it was maybe even how I prefer things. But for others, like those who are working in movie theaters or the hospitality industry, that's going to be a lot more difficult of a change. So what would you suggest to somebody for how to deal with and navigate these difficult changes in their life? So I think COVID-19 is a good example because it's something that has created a large scale transition for people. Um, and it has impacted people in very different ways. I think you and I were able to adapt very well to it because we were able to do work from home and so our life wasn't as upset as it was for other people who may not be able to work from home and as a result they may have lost their jobs and 
have had to struggle with figuring out how to make an income. And I think it's something that's, it is very individual because it makes a difference as to whether or not someone has lost a job or if they're working from home or if they're now having their kids at home and having to figure out how to manage those dynamics. So I think there's a lot that has to be considered with it and this is why sometimes having a therapist who's willing to customize how they're approaching working with you can be really helpful because then you get something that's custom tailored to you instead of just you know, a general suggestion. Right, but beyond that, there are steps people can take to practically deal with change. Um, Some that immediately come to mind uh, is to expect it, to anticipate it. Um, There are people who are very surprised when change comes along, and yet and and yet change happens so frequently in our life that it's almost intuitive that we should expect things to change and so i think that there's a certain value in anticipating change like you don't have to know what the change is going to be or what aspect of your life is going to change but by understanding that this is a normal process of life that well this is something that's going to happen uh you know you don't have to get ready for it when you're expecting it Um, Well, I mean, I think it's a good point because there are some changes that you can anticipate, like a marriage or an adoption. They're typically considered positive changes, and they can still have a transition period that can be quite difficult as people learn to adjust to, you know, living together or having a new child in the family. That can be quite difficult. Um, Other transitions like um, an unexpected illness or a sudden death, that can be more difficult to adjust to because you can't necessarily plan for everything. So that can be more, you know, I've got to come up with a plan on the fly and figure out how to deal with this because I didn't see it coming. So I, I do think that makes quite a big difference as to whether or not it's something that's planned and prepared for or if it's something that's sudden that comes up that someone wasn't able to plan for. A second really important point that I wanted to touch on, and that transitions nicely into it, is uh, identifying when changes happen and embracing them in the little things of our life. Like maybe our plans had to change for the day, or a meeting got moved. These little things, by recognizing them as change, I think it's almost rehearsing ourselves or practicing for the bigger change. And so I I almost feel like by intentionally trying to handle the little things well, we can maybe be a little more adept and able to handle when bigger unexpected changes happen. That's not to say that it's going to be easy when those things come up, but uh, but I, I do I do think recognizing the little things can help prepare you for the big things. And one third and I suppose final point on this is adapting to change. So what are some practical ways? Like what would you tell clients who are trying to adapt to a big life change? Is there any particular strategies or tips that you could give them? I think the main tip I would have for everyone is to remember that the transition is temporary. Um, You know, transitions and individuals, they're so different that I think it's difficult to try to figure out um, how to give advice that would really apply broadly because uh, when I'm working with people I I find out about who they are what how is this transition impacting them what goals are they hoping for um, to work on in therapy so I'm looking very specifically at what's going on with them so let's say I had two clients who came in both of them were planning to retire soon 
um, and they were looking at how to make a smooth transition into retirement, then that treatment plan isn't necessarily going to look the same, even though they're coming with the same base issue. Maybe one wants to get more socially involved and they're struggling with the isolation of COVID. And another one, you know, they want to do some hobbies or some skill-based things that they didn't get to do when they were working. So the focus of that can look very different for each person. Okay, no, fair enough. It can be like we said, a really difficult change. And unfortunately, there isn't a solid three-step process that you can apply to deal effectively with every change that comes your way. But I do think by expecting change and recognizing and embracing changes when they happen and making efforts to adapt, I think that that can really make the difference in whether and how prepared we are for dealing with change. You know, change is maybe, it's a really important topic and it's maybe something that uh, we'll have to visit. Please let us know uh, via social media or in comments if this is, if there's a particular aspect of dealing with change you'd like us to revisit. That's all the time we have for today. Please visit us and follow us on our social media. Facebook is Incremental Health Tips. Visit our website, incrementalhealthtips.com, where we post blogs and we have events. And also follow us on Twitter, at Incremental Tips, where we'll be uploading new episodes of our podcasts every Tuesday at 11 p.m. Eastern Time. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thank you very much for listening.